Good afternoon, Senate 5, and welcome to our Christian religious education. We are still looking at the topic coping with conflict. And today's lesson, we are looking at seeing good in others. Before we look at this, last week we were looking at obeying authority. And we learned that authority is the power to tell people what to do. It is the right to make decisions and give instructions. We also learned that according to Romans, St. Paul, St. Paul teaches us to obey those in authority. Obedience to people in authority is obedience to God. We should therefore obey those in authority to avoid punishment. Now, seeing good in others. Our guiding scriptures today comes from the book of uh, Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, then Luke chapter 6 verse 37 to 42, of which I want this Luke chapter 6 to 42, you read on your own. And the third one, Romans chapter 3 verse 23. So I will read these two books, Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 and Romans chapter 3 verse 23. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, the Bible says that So God created human beings, making them to be like himself. He created them male and female. And in Romans, in Romans chapter 3, Verse 23, the Bible says, Everyone has sinned and is far away from God's saving presence. Those are the words of God. Seeing good in others. Seeing good in others. Now, God created all human beings. They are all different from each other, but they are equal before him. We should always appreciate the good in others. Through this, we avoid conflicts in the society. We avoid conflicts in the society. Now, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, the verse I've just read, we learn that human beings are special. They were created in the image and likeness of God. And if you continue in Genesis chapter 2, I think we are verse 7. God breathed life-giving breath into their nostrils. And in Luke chapter 6, verse 37 to 42, this the verse I've asked you to read on your own. Jesus advised us about four things. This is the advice Jesus is giving us. Jesus is advising us, one, not to judge others so that God will not judge us. Two, not to condemn others. We should not condemn others. Three, to forgive others for God to forgive us. For you to be forgiven, you need to forgive others. And lastly, to be generous to others. If you have something, be generous and give to others. Now, in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, I read this verse. We learn that everyone has sinned against God. God offered his son, Jesus, so that all of them who will believe in him or who believe in him should not perish or to be saved. So it is my desire as grade five and five pupils, as a house of grace pupils, we always see good in others. Let us all see good in others. And that one, we will see the favor of God. Thank you. May God bless you.